by the Guru's grace, the name is enshrined in the mind and he ever keeps it clasped to his heart. Through the love of the God's name, one's desire is assuaged and fulfillment is attained. Nanak says, this blessing is attained by the Guru's guidance and through divine grace. Without the holy word, the world has gone so much mad that one cannot describe it. They whom the Lord saves are saved and they remain attached to his name. Nanak says, the creator Lord who has fashioned all knows everything. The Brahmins have grown weary of performing yajnas, havans, pilgrims to holy places and reading of Puranas. But they are not rid of poison of love of the worldly wealth and in ego they continue coming and going. By meeting the true Guru, the filth is shed and one meditates on the all-wise Lord God, who serves God, the Lord Master, unto them, slave Nanak is ever sacrifice. The egocentric gives immense thought to wealth, worldly love, desires, avarice and evil thinking. Such egocentrics never attain stability, die and perish away in a moment. If man is blessed with good fortune, then alone he meets the true Guru and leaves ego and sins. Nanak says, by uttering the Lord's name and contemplating the holy word, peace is attained. Without the true Guru's guidance, one cannot perform the devotional service of God and love for the name is not inspired. Surf Nanak says, through the Guru's love and affection, the name is meditated upon. As far as it lies in your power, do not trust the greedy person. At the last moment, he shall receive you there where no one will able to lend you a helping hand. Whoever associates with an egocentric to his countenance attaches the stigma of blackness. Black are the faces of those greedy persons. They depart losing their human life. O Lord God, unite me to the holy company so that God's name may come and abide within my mind. Surf Nanak says, by singing the praises of God, the filth of birth and death is shed. Whatever God, the creator Lord, has preordained, that cannot be erased. The life and body, all are his. God, the king, cherishes all. The backbiters and slanderers remain hungry die rolling in dust and their hand reaches nowhere. Outwardly, in hypocrisy, they do all good deeds, but in their mind and heart they practice deceit. Whatever man sows in the form of the body, that comes and stands before his eyes in the end. Nanak supplicates, My Lord God, forgive me and unite me with thyself as it pleases thee. The mortal does not realize the coming and going, nor contemplates the Lord's coat. He is wrapped in the love of the wealth and within his mind is the darkness of ignorance. Then alone the slumbering man awakes when the very heavy club hits him on the head. The Guruvards contemplate the Lord in time and they obtain the door of salvation. Nanak says they themselves are saved and all their relations and family members to ferry cross. Anyone dying through the word appears dead. By the Guru's grace, man is sated with the God's elixir. By the Guru's word, he finds the Lord's portal. Without the name, everyone is dead. The egocentric dies losing his very life. They who do not contemplate the Lord's name in the end wail in suffering. Nanak says, whatever the Creator Lord does, that happens. The Guruvards who are God conscious and within whom is divine knowledge, they never get old. They ever and always utter the Lord's praises and within them is serene meditation of God. They ever abide in joy and wisdom and deem woe and weal the same. They perceive the one Lord and realize the all-pervading divine being everywhere. The egocentrics are like children and old people who in their mind do have thought of God. They do all deeds in ego and go to the righteous judge. The Guru words are good and immaculate. With the Guru word, they look illustrious. Those walking in the true Guru's will, not a particle of filth touches them. 
the impurity of the egocentric is not cleaned even though washed a hundred times. Nanak says the Guru Vards are united with God and they merge in the Guru's being. He who does evil, what will his condition be? He burns himself in his own rage. The maddened egocentric worries himself in strives. By turning Guru Vards, he comes to understand everything. Nanak says the Guru Vards struggle with their own mind. They who do not serve the omnipotent true Guru and do not contemplate the holy word, they are not said to be human beings. Rather, they are the foolish beasts and animals. Within them is neither divine knowledge nor meditation. They have no love and affection for the Lord. The egocentrics caught in evil thinking die and they come and go again and again. They who meet the living truly live enshrining God the life of the world in their heart. Nanak says, The Guruvard look beauteous at the true Lord's portal. The Lord's palace, the Lord has built, in which the Lord himself abides. By the Guru's teaching, by burning the love for the wealth, I have attained God. In the Lord's temple, innumerable things lie. O man, contemplate the name, bringer of the nine treasures. Nanak says, Blessed are those fortunate ones who by the Guru's guidance have searched and found the God.